We're starting to see alternating current motors in many vehicle systems, from steering to air conditioning to vehicle propulsion. Do you understand how these motors work? Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. Most vehicles as we know them use a battery to produce DC current, which for a very long time now has worked well to operate conventional electric motors. So why do we need to use alternating current motors? To start with, an AC motor is more efficient when producing torque. If we apply a given load to an AC and DC motor and rotate them at the same speed, the AC type will draw much less current than the DC type. Most AC motors are brushless and do not require permanent magnets to operate, and they don't suffer from DC arcing, so they're cheaper to build and more reliable in design. Before we get started on AC motors, let's quickly look at how alternating current works in a circuit. AC is traditionally produced using a rotating magnetic field. This induces an alternating current in a conductor or set of windings. When observing a single phase AC generator, we can see that as one pole of the magnet rotates past the winding, current is induced into the winding in one direction only. As the pole continues past this point, current levels drop to zero. Rotation of the magnet brings the next pole into range and current levels build again, although in the opposite direction. A light connected to the circuit will pulse in time with the rotating magnetic field. The faster the rotation, the quicker the pulsing effect. Like what you see? To gain access to the most advanced automotive technical training available, visit our website and be the best technician you can be.